All right. Peace, love, and blessings. Peace, love, and blessings. I am back with another word. I am Prophet B. Sam, and this is Trust, Obey, Imagine Ministries. Welcome back, y'all. So I have another word um, for you. This is a Rima word. Um, let me adjust my camera real quick. Is that okay? I think it's okay. Okay. So before we get started, please make sure to like, sh like share, and subscribe. Um, and if you want, if you like my energy, if you like my spirit, then go ahead and press the notification bells, um, so that you can get an update on when I do post a new message. Okay. So this message is a, like I said, it's a Rima and I'm gonna just flow with it. Okay. Um, but some of you are about to enter into a serious relationship. Okay. This is a new phase. Um, this is a deeper level relationship, okay? And this is probably something that you haven't been in in a very, very long time. So what I'm seeing is 1010. If you've been seeing 1010, if you've been seeing 222, if you've been seeing 444, if you've been seeing 1212 and 1111, this message is for you, okay? So it says, um, you guys, y'all will withhold nothing from each other, okay? You might be getting ready to receive a call. This conversation could last about two hours. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard two hours, okay? Um, they love you. They adore you. They want you. They want you so bad. They know that they, they can trust you and they view your spirit as sweet. Sweet like splendor. They're coming back to keep a promise to you. They feel like they have to prove something to you. They're asking you for another chance. They want you to trust them. They used to not believe in faith, but now they have faith. Now they believe, right? They know that you are dependable and they want to prove to you that they are also someone that you can depend on. This is a song I just heard. Friends. One you can depend on. Friends. <laughs> um, I'm still trying. Let me, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to get my camera right. Like, what's going, what's going on? What is going on? Like, um, so it says. They want to comfort you. This person, they love eye contact. It's I kept seeing, I've been seeing the word eyes for a long time. Not a long time, but for like this past week. And I feel like this person loves your eyes. They, they love the way your eye is shaped. They love eye contact. It's just something about your eyes that they love. You know what I'm saying? Um, what they say, your eyes is the, ear, the, the gate to your heart. I don't know. Maybe they can see your heart through your eyes. Um... They love gazing in your eyes. They are very passionate towards you, okay? Um, before he spoke a word, you were already singing it out to him and he heard you. When you cried, he cried. When you prayed for him, he felt your prayers. When you were under attack, so was he. When you dreamed about him, he was also dreaming about you. You have been so good to them. You are the best that they ever had. They have overwhelming, never-ending love for you. They sit up crying because of the love that they have for you, for you are their queen. They are now ready to re reciprocate and receive your love. They had a hard time receiving love, but not anymore. Their feminine and their masculine energy are now finally in balance. And I kept seeing the infinity symbol. And also, if you have been seeing 888, this message is also for you. This person will not give up on you and they don't want you to give up on them. You both are a part of each other's abundance and it will never run out. Jesus. His broken heart has mended. They view, view you as honest, confident, loving, fun, happy, talented, caring, strong, bright, educated. They want their friend back. You are their sunflower. And on this particular day, I kept seeing a lot of yellow. Jesus. The bridegroom is calling the bride out of her chambers. God no longer wants you to do it alone. It is you that he wants the most, so expect a lot of love. This person is experiencing a lot of, a lot of nostalgia. You are the light that shines in darkness. You shine so bright. You are the light in his worlds. You give them butterflies in their belly, and it makes their heart skip. They have watched your transformation. If you've been seeing one, two, three, know that God is ordering their footsteps. Okay? And I went to this, Psalms 123, a song of accents. I lift up my eyes to you, to you whose throne is in heaven. 
as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid look to the hand of their mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us mercy. So your person wants mercy. You know, they, 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 their eyes is really going to show it. You know how a dog, when they say sorry and they give you the puppy dog eyes, that's how it is. That's how it's going to be. Like, please. Please, I promise I'll make it up to you. Show me mercy. So ladies, show your person mercy. Show your person grace, okay? And the song that I want y'all to listen to is called Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. And also The Father's House by Corey Asbury. In The Father's House, it talks about the prodigals returning. This song just randomly played. I've never heard it ever in my life. And I was like, wow, the prodigals are returning. And Reckless Love is so funny because when this song came on, I've been trying to fit. There, there's a song that my dad was sing. Y'all, if I get emotional, just don't mind me. But there was a song, there was a video when I had my old page. My dad, he used to sing a lot, right? And so the song that he sang on there, he sung at a, he was singing at a wedding, right? And I couldn't figure out the name of that song to save my life. I could not figure out the name of that song. But this particular day, this song just started playing. It was called Reckless Love, right? And it just started playing out of nowhere. And one of the parts that he said in that song that stood out to me, mind you, I had already had my, my notes typed up. The part that stood out to me was, before you spoke a word, you were already singing out to him and he heard you. And mind you, I had wrote this in my notes, Ben wrote this in my notes. So when that song started playing, I couldn't stop crying because I kept hearing my dad's voice and it was the same song that I had already wrote notes on earlier that week. So I know that my dad is even in just, and just, just, just in the atmosphere, just even with me putting these, these messages out. But this person, I wish I could sing it right now, but I just remember, I just remember my dad's voice and he's like, oh, the overflowing sentiment, ever love of God. I'm going to have to do a, um, a message on that, but it's such a beautiful song and it's a romantic song too. It's, it's a romantic song to God, but it also be, can be used as a romantic song from your person to you. So y'all make sure y'all, matter of fact, I'm going to link those songs and I want y'all to listen to it and let it minister to your spirit and make sure y'all comment on how, you know, if it confirmed anything or it made you feel any way. But I just think this is right now and it's just a beautiful moment, a beautiful time right now. And um, this person is just overflowing with so many emotions, with so, so many emotions, right? So yeah, that's the message. Um, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. If you want to sow a seed to this ministry, the, the information will be in the description box. I am Prophet B. Sam. This is Trust Obey Imagine Ministries. I love you so much. Thank you for spending some time with me. I pray you have a super amazing day. I will be back with another word. Peace.